Since Peter Stöger took over on December 10th, Borussia Dortmund have not lost in the Bundesliga. Stöger has re-energized Dortmund, adding a greater cohesion to their shape while losing none of the attacking flair that has made the club so much fun to watch in recent years. In recent games, Dortmund have lined up in a 4-2-3-1, with a double pivot in midfield using two of Julian Weigel, Gonzalo Castro and Mahmoud Daoud. Ahead of this axis, Mario Goetze creates from the number 10 position behind in-form Michy Batshuayi, and when fit, likely first choices Marco Reus and Christian Pulisic play out wide. Defensively, Stöger has made Dortmund more compact, especially in the centre of the pitch, by shifting the 4-2-3-1 into a form of 4-1-4-1 or a 4-4-1-1 in a block. This secures the middle and also allows Dortmund to transition into attack more easily. Dortmund do not press as frenetically as they have done in past seasons, looking instead to create a strong central block and then build patiently from the back once the ball has been recovered. In possession, Dortmund morph from this defensive posture and push the fullbacks high, while the double pivot drops in to provide a pair of ever-shifting options for the centre-backs or the keeper to find. Dortmund look to create overloads out wide by switching the play from one side to the other patiently, often using the centre-backs to shift the ball sideways as they push up the pitch. In this clip from the same game against Hanover, we see the same progression playing out again. This time, the fullback is used as a passing option, and when the ball is played to the centre-back, he has the time and space to hit a vertical ball into a dangerous area. Let's watch the same clip again, but this time pay attention to the front four players. For this sort of pass to work, the front players must be constantly mobile, looking for space and anticipating the pass. Here, Schürrle makes a late dart into the box, and Goetze drops deeper to facilitate this. Without the movement of the front players, this approach wouldn't be effective. In this clip against RB Leipzig, we see both elements of this approach resulting in a goal. The centre-backs methodically work the ball towards the halfway line. This time, rather than using the full-backs, they use the midfield pivot as a passing option. The front four instinctively react, and Royce capitalises. On loan from Chelsea, Michy Batshuayi has stepped into the boots of Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang as Dortmund's main goal threat. The Belgian also provides intelligent link-up play, working hard for the team to bring others into the attack as much as he himself provides a spearhead for Dortmund's moves. In this clip against Augsburg, see how hard Batshuayi works as a link player for the attack. He's heavily involved throughout the move, and at this point he's so deep there are five Dortmund players ahead of him on the pitch. Seemingly behind the play, he is then able to make an untracked run into the box, where he takes up an excellent position. Dortmund try to find him, but the pass is blocked, and a shot narrowly misses the target. This time, rather than coming deep, Batshuayi stays with his defender. As play approaches, he half-checks, so that when he receives the ball, he's in two yards of space. He lays it off immediately, and curves his run in behind. It's worth noting here the number of Dortmund players in attacking positions. If Batshuayi hadn't scored, four other players could have. We've seen how Batshuayi's hard work and intelligence can create and finish team goals, but his individual skill set is also superb, as brilliantly showcased here against Hanover. Peter Stöger's Borussia Dortmund are defensively more solid and patient in their build-up play than previous versions of the side. But that doesn't mean they've become dull. With serious attacking talent, Dortmund still pose a threat to any side going forwards, and their ability to attack from deep, to counter, and to unlock defences with moments of individual brilliance make them tough opponents for any team. Hello, are you still there? Hello! Watch the best of the Bundesliga. Subscribe now. The official Bundesliga YouTube channel. Subscribe now. Oh,